Hey guys, this is Meg from Bravest Bunch. I saw some people asking about how to set up OBS for the first time, and I wanted to come in and show you how to do it really fast. It doesn't take long, it's not very hard, but um, I have a fresh install of OBS here. I'm going to hide my preview here so it doesn't look all wacky to you. But um, the only thing I've done differently here that you might not see yet is I've added in a display capture and I've added in my microphone device. Um, but first things first, you do want to go into settings. You want to go to stream and you want to connect your account. Super easy. Uh, you would log in. I'm going to blur this in post, but you would log in using your login info. Okay. And then you click authorize. Okay, so this is all connected now. I don't need to do anything with it. And next thing I want to check is my output. It should automatically set these up, but if you are having, if you're noticing any sort of um, issues with your stream, you may need to come in and tinker with these, especially the resolution and FPS, as well as possibly the bitrate if you notice that your stream is, um, you know, lagging a lot. We're just going to hit OK. Um, now you'll notice that my chat has popped up on screen. And so I'm going to try to dock that off to the side if it'll let me. Maybe if I enable the preview, it'll let me. No. Let me disable that preview again. But it gave me my stream information and it gave me my chat as a pop-up. Oh, look, it let me, it let me dock it. Uh, I want to move it over to the side for my, my own personal preference. Same with the stream info off to the side. So now that you've connected your Twitch account, your chat shows up, your stream info shows up. So if you want to change your stream title, you can just do that and hit done. Um, now you can start adding in some more stuff. You can add in uh, your display capture. I'm going to show you how to do that. So first of all, I'm going to enable the preview. It's going to look weird. Uh, you would press the plus button. If you're playing a game, you definitely want to do a game capture because that will take fewer resources and you won't accidentally minimize it and show everybody your desktop or whatever. But for this, I'm going to do a display capture because that's what I'm showing you is my display. And I'm just going to create a new one. Make sure that you select the right one. I'm showing you my BenQ monitor right now. That's what I've got. Um, I don't actually need it, so I'm going to delete it. In order to delete it, you right click and hit remove. And then yes, I'm going to hide this again. For microphone, same thing. Hit the plus, hit audio input capture. You're going to hear me twice for a second. It's going to sound really weird when I do this. Get ready. Going to hit OK. You're going to select the correct device. Mine's the USB 3 and then hit OK. And now I've got two inputs, so I'm going to delete the one that I just made. Remove. Yes, now I'm back to normal. And uh, you do want to put in your audio output capture. So make sure you put that in. I'll leave it as such. And I'm going to set mine to speakers because that's what I can hear through my headphones. And just for example, if I play a video right now, um, let's see what... Let's see what Farrell's Barkley is up to. Let's see. Let's unmute the site. All cinematic. Now you should be able to hear that. Going on the ride at Disney World. Yep. Okay. So we're going to close that. And there we go, back into OBS. Next thing we're gonna do is maybe add in a camera. So adding these two audio inputs didn't add anything to my scene, if you would have noticed that. Um, but I am going to add a video camera now. So I'm going to press the plus, select video capture device. I'm gonna name this one webcam. You can name it whatever you want, doesn't matter. Select the correct camera. So mine's HD Pro. Hello, it's me. Hi. Uh, in order to edit the size and stuff, I do have to enable the preview. And I'm going to make this teeny tiny so that, just for an example, because I don't want it to be like in the way of anything. And I'm going to put it like down here. Um, but put it wherever you want it to go. I'll show you how to do overlays that might help you organize it. You can make your own overlays. I make my own overlays. But in order to download a pre-made overlay, I definitely recommend Stream Elements. You can uh, hit sign up. If you haven't already, I'm just going to hit log in and it'll automatically bring me to my dashboard. You would go over here to Streaming Tools, select Overlays Gallery so you can look through everything. I'm just going to hit, 
I don't know. Happy holidays sounds great. It's not Christmas anymore. You can get a preview of what it looks like. Um, you know, it gives you the starting soon screen, the be right back. This is a super cute. Um, now nah, let's not do that one, but it is really cute. This one looks fine. We'll do this. So we'll select uh, create my own overlay. And then they got the in-game scene, the talk scene, the start scene, the BRB scene. Um, I do recommend setting up scenes for each individual one of these. Not You don't really need one for the end scene. You don't really need one for the talk scene. But we definitely use a start scene and a be right back scene. And we use an in-game scene personally. Um, we're going to be setting up the in-game scene. So I'm going to copy this link with control C. I'm going to go back into OBS. I'm going to disable the preview for a sec. I'm going to press plus. This is a browser source because it's a link. So browser source, I'm gonna name this one overlay. And I'm gonna paste that link into this field called URL. And then we're gonna change the width to 1920 by 1080, which is our native resolution. And I like to check this box that says shut down source when not visible and then click okay. So now in just a moment, yeah, there it is. Now I've got my overlay setup. And if you'll notice, it automatically sets up the, you can see over my mouse here, it automatically shows who my latest uh, followers and subscribers and all of that were. I don't use this account anymore, so these are super old. But um, now I could, you know, move my camera over here, stretch it to fit. One thing that you might want to do is once you get it to a spot that you like, you can hold down your alt button on your keyboard and click this handle and squish it down. So now it fits nicely within that frame. I am gonna hide my camera so that you guys can see what I'm doing. But overlay setup, uh, if you wanna edit the overlay, you can go back into stream elements, go to my overlays, and is this the in-game one? Yes, select edit. And if there's anything in here that you don't like, Say you don't like the vertical labels and you'd, you'd rather do the horizontal labels, you can go in. This, this one was really nice to change those and let you have these, which I don't know why it's not working. Oh, there we go. So that was really nice of them to allow that. And yeah, you can go in and tweak these. You can move stuff around. You can um, test out because a lot of these come with their own alerts so you can check what the alert looks like by checking this emulate button and hit follower event for example whoa new follower and if i hadn't hit it's a little loud okay if i hadn't hit the overlay it would have popped up over everything else on my screen but i hit it so that it wasn't messing everything up but yeah uh, you can go and you can tweak it you can move it around just make sure you move everything you can control Z. It's a little weird, but there's control Z back. Um, excellent. So there's an overlay. I'm going to close that because we are done there. We're going to leave. And there's some other really cool widgets you can do. So, for example, Twitch Guru has some really cool stuff. They have a random clip player. Oh, okay. They have a random clip player under free tools here. Um, they've got a shout out player. They've got some cool stuff. I know a lot of people use Twitch Guru. I personally use scene.gg. And when you log into scene.gg, it brings you to this scene here. If you go over here to go down the left column to widgets, it gives you all of their cool widgets. So game cover art's really cool. It'll change to show the cover art of whatever game is showing on your um, category. And you can select random channel clips for perhaps a starting soon screen. That's what we use that for. You can set up a shout out command. That one's also really useful. Every time somebody types in S, uh, exclamation point SO and types out somebody's name, a, bo uh, a box will pop up wherever you put this browser source will pop up and it'll play a random clip from that person's channel. Very nice. Let's see, Stream Elements, of course, has a lot of cool stuff. They've got chat bots. Definitely worth a look. Twitch Guru, of course. They've got a Pokemon game that's really neat. Cap Chat is another chat overlay that's really cool. 
would recommend that as well. It's a little more basic. But once you get the hang of everything and you get everything set up, it should look pretty good. If you want to see how we set ours up, it's a little something like this. We squish down the scene. What did I just change? Oh, that's the overlay. <laughs> Uh, we squish down our display capture, whatever it is we're currently playing, we make it smaller. Because I personally think that the fewer things covering up the screen is better. We set our webcam. Let me lock that overlay so it doesn't move around. You can hit these little locks down here to keep stuff from moving around. Uh, I'm going to move the camera down here and shrink it down. And that way it only kind of covers up that. We put our you know, any sort of follower goals. We put a scrolling text here. You can put in a image source. Um, usually we have a media source, but the only one I have on this particular computer are these image sources. And you can click and drag it to put it down underneath of everything else. So now that's in the background. Over here, we would do our chat box. And what else do we have besides those widgets? That's about it, actually. We have a pretty basic setup, and it works really well for us. But if you fiddle around and tweak it and get it the way just the way you like it, you should be able to find something that works for you and works for your viewers. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. But otherwise, you guys have a great day. Thanks. Bye. Bye.